Hey there, NCAPers. In today's episode of NCAP TV, we're going to talk about why it is so important that a good encapsulation detergent crystallizes. Stay tuned. Today I want to talk to you about something that's very close to my heart, and that is crystallization. The crystallizing process. We've been saying for years that good encapsulation requires good crystallization. So what does that mean? What are we talking about when we say crystallization? We're talking about the end cap polymer. And frankly, there are a lot of so-called encapsulation products out there that frankly don't crystallize. They don't dry down brittle. They dry down sticky, in fact. So we've been encouraging folks for years to take your end cap product, in this case obviously we're talking about release it, and take a dish and dry it down in the dish and see how it dries down. So let's get started with our release it. What we'll do is we're just going to take a little bit of our release it, enough to cover the bottom of the dish. I don't know if you can see that very well. And we'll set that aside and let it dry. Once that's dry, we should see that the release it will dry down to a crystal-like structure that's very clearly a crystallizing polymer. So We'll set that aside, let that dry, and see how that works out. So here's what it looks like after it's dry. As you can see, the polymer structure has really crystallized. You can see that crystalline structure there in the uh, dish as it dries down. So that's what we'd expect to see with a good product that truly crystallizes as it dries. So check your polymer, and it should be like you see here. You should get that little check mark. See how easily that just flakes off of there? There's my little check mark there. Look at that. It just, it just flakes off the surface. Very simple. It's not sticky. There's nothing there that's sticky. I'm just rubbing my finger in it and see how it just released from the dish. That's important because if this was in the cleaning solution, as it dries, it's going to hold soil in suspension and come out during the normal routine of post vacuuming. So it's pretty easy to see why the crystallizing process is so important. If it doesn't dry down brittle like that, how are we going to get the soil out of the carpet? In other words, if you're working with an encapsulation detergent that doesn't have a good crystallizing property, it doesn't have that good encapsulation polymer package built into it, there's no vehicle to get the soil out of the carpet. How is the soil just going to jump off the carpet and end up in the vacuum cleaner if you don't have a component that releases from the fiber and comes away during the post vacuuming process? It's not going to happen. And that's why the Release It products work so well. They clean well. We've balanced that polymer package with good detergent components and some other really cool items to help with the process of the encapsulation. All of that works together to capture the soil, hold it in suspension, release from the fiber, and keep the carpet clean longer. So hopefully that will help you understand that process a little better and also why it's not a good idea to add other ingredients or other detergents. Sometimes we'll get people saying, well, can I add this pre-spray with release it or can I do this or that? You don't want to do that because you can see that we have really worked hard to balance the polymer with the detergent properties and if you start adding other ingredients you're very likely going to mess up the crystallizing process. So hopefully that will help you understand what's involved with good encapsulation. It's all on the backbone of good crystallization. It's just one more way that we help you max your end cap with the release of product line. It's what we do here at Excellent Supply. Please hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe below. We appreciate it when you do that and until next time thanks for watching NCAP TV.